installment of the weekly Primavera announcements. I'm Katie. And I'm Greg. We have got some exciting stuff for you guys this yes, week. Yes, we do. Including a super secret announcement about our new- Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't just give stuff like that away. I just wanted to- No, no, no. While well, I teach Greg over here how to keep a secret, let's turn the time over to the Primavera Get Fit advisor and assistant principal, Joseph Hattrick, for a recap on the P.F. Chang's Rock and Roll Marathon. Katie, I just wanted to tell them about the- <laughs> That's right guys, Get Fit Primavera had 15 staff members and one student uh, compete in the P.F. Chang's Rock and Roll Half Marathon and Full Marathon on January 15th. They worked for about two months to prepare and they all did an amazing job. We also had 60 staff members, families and students um, help volunteer at one of the water stations. We couldn't have run the race without them, they did an incredible job. I'm also excited to announce that Get Fit Primavera is ready for our next race which is going to be the Pat Tillman's Run on April 21st. Um, that's going to be in Tempe, Arizona, and we actually finish inside the ASU Sun Devil, Sun, Sun Devil Stadium. Um, be sure to keep an eye out on the What's Happening page, and I hope to see you all there. Thanks for that, Joseph. I know I'll be there, and you'll be there too, right, Greg? Uh, no. I actually have to wash my cat that weekend. I know for a fact you don't have a cat. I'm getting one? No, you're not. I just hate running. It's not my strength. Come I'm not on. a runner. It's going to be so much fun. It's for a great cause. A big group of us are going. It'll be fun. Please. All right. Sign me up. Woo! But if I get side cramps, I'm coming after you. You'll not be able to catch me. Next up, we're going to go to two of our science teachers for an explosive segment of Experiments at Home. They're going to walk you through an experiment that you can do at your own home. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Mr. Crockett. And I'm Mrs. Saracino. And we're two science teachers here at Primavera going to show you how explosive science can be. You need a 4x6 index card, mint, mentos, and any diet cola. So what you'll first do is roll up the index card into a column. Make sure you're able to do a full, a full column of mentos. We'll be able to pass through. Move the column over the opening of the diet soda and then move your hand and stand back. So what happened in this experiment? Well, the chemical components inside the mint Mentos, the main ones being gelatin and acacia gum, they reacted with two main components inside the diet cola, which is uh, aspartame and potassium benzoate, which give off carbon dioxide gas. If you're wondering about the height, it was achieved from the surface tension between the Mentos mints and the aspartame in the diet soda. That's why you need to make sure that you do this experiment with diet soda. Also, do not lean over the soda when dropping the Mentos. Make sure you take a big step back. Make sure you do it outside and don't wear your best clothes. Thanks for tuning in for this month's segment on Experiments in Home and we'll hope to see you next month. Bye. That was awesome. That soda got pretty high. It did. I guess that's what happens when you know the science behind that stuff. I don't get to blow stuff up. I want that job. <laughs> Next up, we're going to talk a little bit about our Ames tutoring sessions. That's right. Ames tests are coming up, and Lauren is here to tell us about some tutoring sessions available for you. Lauren? Thanks, guys. That's right. Our Ames tests are right around the corner, and we really want you to succeed. So our teachers are going to be offering some free tutoring sessions, which started this past Saturday, but will continue every Saturday through mid-April. So if you want to find out more information about dates, times, and locations, just check out our Ames information page and our What's Happening page on our website. All right, we hope to see you there. Back to you guys. Thanks, Lauren. I think it's so awesome that we have great ways to help you be successful on the Ames tests. I agree. I remember parts of those tests got pretty rough. Well, as you guys heard, all you have to do is show up to these sessions and you'll get the one-on-one -on -one help you need to help learn concepts to do well on the AIMS test. Also, a preemptive thank you to all the teachers that'll be giving up their Saturdays. That's pretty incredible. Agreed. Next up, we're going to Jenna for another great resource. Indeed we are. Jenna has some news for us about a new program that we'll be offering that will make sure that you are in the best environment possible to learn. Right, Jenna? That's right, Pi Squared is a new tool that Primavera has established to help us measure your performance in math, reading, and writing. This new assessment is required for all students and will help us personalize your education by helping us identify your strong points as well as your weaknesses. You should have received an email last week with your key code to access the test, which is now available today. Make sure to check out our What's Happening page for more information. Thanks. Well, Katie, I guess that's it. Another weekly announcements is done. But wait, what about the big secret? Oh yeah, tell them, tell them. Okay, 
A few months ago, you all voted on Primavera's mascot, which is a panther. Well, the panther has been designed. That's right. Here's a sneak peek. <laughs> Fooled ya! You didn't think it was gonna be that easy, did you? We weren't gonna just give it away. First, the panther needs a name. He does. So if you haven't already, go like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter, and then watch on Thursday, January 26th for the naming contest. That's right. So again, this Thursday, make sure you check our Facebook page, our Twitter page, and our What's Happening page for more information on this naming contest. But until then, I'm Greg. And I'm Katie. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.